Hello everybody, this is Jesus Quesadilla. Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. Thanks for checking this video out. I hope you'll enjoy it. But if you guys already know who I am, thanks for coming on back here. And uh, let's just jump right into this thing. So, as you recall, in the last episode we finished off San Fierro. And you'll notice I am now crossing over the bridge to Los Venturas. Or, well... The Lost Ventures portion of the continent of San Andreas. Um, so, here we are in the new land. This is the new area of the game. Um, last time we tied up all of our loose ends there in San Fierro and actually unlocked this area. So today, we're going to follow up on that phone call we got at the end of the last episode telling us to come out here to this ranch. Um, very suspicious stuff going on here, so we're just going to go ahead and park right here. And uh, I'll actually show you guys my shirt for today's episode. Get a little closer there. Mike Torino, rest in peace, fool. Yeah. Alright, so we're here at the ranch, and I just wanted to wear that shirt to commemorate my triumph over the Loco Syndicate. Thought that'd be great. What's up, guys? Charlie, welcome. So fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now, first, we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, well, maybe. Yeah, okay. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab. Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here, lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, GPS is a uh, ghetto and pimp third, style. That's how we roll, man. Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck. Oh yeah, we're gonna need it. Alright, so we have 6 minutes and 30 seconds to complete this thing. I'm gonna give a quick rundown of what it is exactly you have to do. So basically, it's sort of a checkpoint race, but you're not competing against anybody, you're just trying to complete it within the time limit allotted. Um, and that's really about it. It's pretty straightforward and basic. As he noted, that uh, guy who gave us the truck, he said there is no handbrake. Instead, you have four-wheel drive. Now, that does actually complicate things a little bit. Um, basically, the four-wheel drive enables you to handle some of these off-road terrains a little bit better. Um, but the trade-off is that you don't have a handbrake, so you need to be mindful of that. Um, you won't be able to brake as quickly and take sharp turns and things of that nature. But the uh, four-wheel drive comes in handy for climbing up hills that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do so, like this one right here, for instance. Um, by holding down the button to use four-wheel drive, you climb up a whole lot easier and gain more traction that way. So that's cool. But uh, as you guys can no doubtly tell, uh, this mission is going to take a little while, and it is pretty straightforward and basic. So instead of making you guys sit through this, we're going to go ahead and take a look to our old friend, the Travel Cam, and do something more exciting in the meantime while I go ahead and wrap up these checkpoints. So, here we go to the Travel Cam. I'll see you guys momentarily. Howdy, 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 guys. Jesus Quesadilla here with yet another edition of the Travel Cam. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, today, I'm going to be bringing you something very exciting. We're going to go ahead and take care of the Vigilante missions. Um, before we get started on those, though, I want to show you guys a trick that I'm going to be using. Um, you'll notice here, some of you guys who are familiar with San Andreas recognize this as the restricted area in Las Venturas. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically a military base that, as you just saw, I got a 5-star wanted level automatically for approaching. Um, coming around the back side of the base reveals a breakable wall, and behind that breakable wall is a ton of cool uh, vehicles. The one we're looking for, though, is this one right here in the, uh, in the hangar back here. This is a Rhino Tank, which, you know, from Grand Theft Auto lore, is probably one of the most well-known vehicles across all the games. Um, anyway, the reason why I chose to get this vehicle is because it's very easy to sneak in and get back, even with the 5-star wand level, get this vehicle to a garage, since it's, um... Pretty much indestructible. Once you're in it, you're kind of an unkillable, unstoppable monster. So, uh, now we've got a Rhino Tank in our possession, which is going to come in handy for these Vigilante missions we're going to be attempting. 
Um, you see here, I went ahead and went back to San Fierro to do them. Um, I recommend doing the vigilante missions in any uh, sort of densely populated city area. So any of the three major cities will be fine. Um, I kind of don't recommend doing it out in the wilderness, like in, uh, in the Badlands or out in the desert or anything like that, because they tend to space out the spawn points for um, criminals kind of far apart. Anyway, similar to when we did the ambulance missions, the uh, paramedic missions, um, here we're going to be performing our duty as police officers, basically. Well, vigilantes, which is, of course, someone who upholds the law even though they're not officially supposed to do so. Um, and with the Rhino Tank, it's very easy, as you can see, just running over, uh, blowing up cars. Um, the Rhino Tank is very cool because even though it's a very slow vehicle, just touching another car causes it to explode on contact. Um, also add in the fact that you do have a turret that you can fire rockets from, and it's pretty much an unstoppable killing destruction machine. Um, perfect for this kind of mission. Like the paramedic mission, you need to do 12 levels of it successfully, and like the paramedic mission, those levels um, increase incrementally with each passing one. So in level 1, you're taking out one criminal, in level 2, you're taking out two, and so on and so forth, all the way up to level 12. Um, you, can play, you can play on past level 12, but uh, for the purposes of today, I'm just completing up to level 12 because of some of the neat bonuses we get. Anyway, here, we're going to go ahead and just use our turret to shoot at this guy. And there we go. And now we're on the last level here. We're on level 12, and we just need to complete it. And I actually got really lucky here. Um, I just came around this corner and took out all three guys in a row. Um, sometimes you can get really lucky, and all three enemies will spawn next to each other and just follow each other really, really closely, which makes it just a breeze to take them all out. Um... So, after I take out this last guy, you'll see what my rewards are, and they are actually very, very good. Um, besides the money bonuses you get for completing each level... Hold on, once I just blow up or run over this guy... Hey, there we go. Nice couple thousand dollars. We also get a boost to our body armor, so now we have 150% the normal amount of body armor in the game. Very cool. Anyway, back to the normal game! Oh, I want to kind of just uh, slide into the last marker there, all cool-like, but didn't really work out that way. That's fine. Alright, so we got third place there. Yeah, yeah, I bet you just feel so cool. Guy there with 420 as his time. I see what you did there. Alrighty. Well, that wasn't too hard, and we even got a little bit of pocket change. Not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and save the game, uh... I think for this next mission, I'd like to go ahead and make it daytime, since, uh, just the added visibility helps things out. But yeah. Um, let's go ahead and run over and take that mission, though. Oh, there's a phone call. Who the fuck is this? Son, get back to the ranch, and I'll explain everything. <laughs> I never I left the ranch. Everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Alrighty, well, let's do what Boss Man said. Whoever this mystery guy is, the last mystery guy ended up being Truth, and he's pretty cool, so I'm guessing this guy is going to be pretty boss. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Oh, holy crap, hey, it's Torino, Mike Torino, I'm guys. Bad, man. What, the what a twist. I you Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me, then. Calm down. Man, you ain't number the fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. Well, you think I'm a drug dealer? And you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? I don't know Do what you? to no. think anymore. I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. <laughs> 
So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you. To do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now, this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. <laughs> what if I don't have any friends? I killed them all. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. Well, that's a better idea than I had. I was about to go call up Woozy. A lot of good he would do in this uh, mission here. But yeah, guys, Mark Torino. Turns out that guy was actually a government agent. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? Just when you think you know a guy. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. Alrighty, so Caesar's gonna help us out with commandeering this truck that Torino needs. Um, it's pretty basic, we just gotta get up onto the highway and chase it down. Um, this is actually a very, very easy mission, nothing too bad to worry about. But yeah, how about that? Um, just when you thought the Syndicate was done for, turns out Torino was actually, uh, fighting the good fight for our country. So, looks like we kinda actually screwed things up for him. So we're going to have to sort of repay the debt there since we outed him and kind of ruined his sting operation or whatever he was doing, uh, undercover work. We got to do some missions for him to help him regain ground. And Torino's missions are going to be some of the funnest ones. Um, Torino's and, uh, Torino's actually going to call in another friend of Carl's from uh, a little while ago that's going to make this a lot of fun. But this mission is an easy way to start things off. Just pull up alongside the tanker here, and hold your position long enough for Caesar to jump over and commandeer it. There you go. And after this, the mission's basically over. I'm assuming that doesn't go crashing off the side of the highway, which I have seen it do. Um, I've seen that tanker just go flying... Whoa. <laughs> Got some hydraulics going on on that thing. I've just seen the, the truck, after Caesar takes a hold of it, it just go crashing over the uh, the dividing wall there and just over the edge of the freeway overpass, which, you know, that sucks when you can't control it. But it looks like we got rid of the guy in the truck, so let's go ahead and we're going to swing on over to our garage in San Fierro, which, um, luckily enough, we're actually right next to. I didn't plan it that way, we just kind of got lucky there. Alrighty, let's see where this thing lets off. And, um, like a while back when we did a mission like this for Catalina where we took control of one of these trucks, just be careful taking sharp turns. That's really the only thing you have to watch for. And at this point, there's no reason why you should have to rush. Uh, I don't think cops chase you or anything like that. They're pretty much oblivious to what you're doing. And I think Torino could get them off our backs anyway if he really wanted to. But uh, we're going to pull on up to our garage here, and that's actually mission complete. Not too shabby. Let's just pull on in here. You know, La Haller, Tyler Perry, San Andreas. Alrighty. I don't know where we parked that thing. I didn't think our garage was actually that big, but 7,000 bucks. Uh. Not a whole lot of money. Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. But who am I to complain? We are going to need lots of money very soon. Actually, about a uh, hundred thousand, if memory serves correctly, right in that ballpark there. On, so as long as you have about hundred thousand, you're good. We have double of that from all the side missions I've been doing, so we're in extra good shape. <laughs> 